Hey guys, it's Chris. I want to provide a little clarification on which tests you should get as it relates to COVID-19. A lot of questions out there. We have two tests in this community. I want to describe both tests to you, how they work briefly and which one you should get. So first off, if you are well, if you want to know if you have been exposed to COVID-19 in the past or the virus that causes COVID-19, the test you want to get is the antibody test. What this will tell you is if your body has in fact had an immune response in the past to COVID-19. What it does not tell you is if you are in fact actively contagious, if you're sh currently sh uh, shedding the virus. If you're negative to this test, what it tells you is you probably have not been infected with COVID-19 and you definitely need to maintain your hand washing, uh, not touching your face, staying at home when you're sick, and trying to do everything you can to prevent yourself from getting an infectious disease. The, the genetic test that we do, which is called our diagnostic test, this is the test that we do if someone is in fact sick. Anybody in the community that's sick, we want them to get this test. What this test tells us is if you're actively shedding the virus, if you are in fact actively contagious. So if you're sick and you're wondering if you have COVID-19, the test you wanna get is the diagnostic test. This is our genetic test that we have in place. The turnaround for that test is one or two days. You can get that test at any Colorado Mountain Medical location, Bell Health Urgent Care, as well as the emergency department if you're very, very sick. For the antibody test, this is a test that simply tells us if you have in fact uh, been exposed to COVID in the past, you might've had an illness that you noticed, you might not have had any signs or symptoms, that test is available at any Colorado Mountain Medical site. Last thing I want to end with is if you get a positive result on your antibody test, that does not mean you are immune to contracting COVID-19. In fact, we do not know the answer to that. Scientists are studying it today. We do not know after being sick with COVID-19, how long your body maintains those antibodies or how long you might be immune or have that protection. So it's not a free get out of jail card and you stop wearing your mask, you stop washing your hands, you start stop taking all the precautions you've taken. It's really a tool that we use in public health to really identify how much spread there's been in the community of COVID-19. And if you're negative on the antibody tests, like I am, I've just received my results two days ago, it's a great reminder that we have to remain vigilant. We have to continue practicing these public health orders. We have to continue washing our hands, prevent ourselves from touching our face and doing all we can to prevent the spread of this, of this disease. If you have any more questions about this, please just write a question in the comment and we will address it right away. Thank you.